What is everybody? Kyle Murray from FTN Daily back again with the Prize Picks Prop Show, bringing you three of my favorite plays for this Tuesday NBA slate. As always, appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking out the video. Looking forward to getting you some of my favorite plays. If you're a new user over at Prize Picks, head over there, use code FTN, get yourself a 100% match up to $100. Before we get into my picks, let me know who you are liking in the picks uh, in the comment section below. Who's some of your favorite Prize Picks plays of the day? And as always, this video is coming out to you pretty early, so make sure you're staying up to date with the updated picks and projections over at FTN Daily. You can get the free Prize Picks Edge tool as well as the pick tracker every single day, and not just for NBA as well, and not just my picks. All of, all of the guys' picks, all the sports that we have, so make sure you're checking that out every day. I highly recommend that, and it's free, so no cost to you. But if you do like to support, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. We appreciate all the support on the videos, not only on the prize picks stuff, but pretty much every single video you guys have done a great job supporting, so we really appreciate that. And looking forward to continue rolling out this video content on the YouTube channel. So, without further ado, I'm not talking, let's get into the picks here. We've got three picks, two of them are probably two of my favorite prize picks plays of the last week or so, so really pumped to be able to bring them out to you uh, early on in the morning so that way you guys get in on these numbers. I highly advise that you try to get these picks in because I do have a feeling that they're going to move pretty substantially. And that first one is Chris Paul over 23 and a half points and assists. He missed right around a month with that injury, but he's returned uh, December 9th, just a few nights ago, put up 24 points alone. Obviously, that's going to you know cover the, the points and assists total here. Obviously, not counting on that, but that is the upside that Chris Paul has, especially with no Devin Booker, who's going to be sidelined with a hamstring injury, and especially in a great matchup here against Houston, who's bottom three in defensive efficiency. A little bit of a revenge narrative as well, if that's something that you're into, but regardless whether he was playing his former team or not, this Houston defense is very, very bad, so it should be a successful opportunity for Chris Paul. Additionally, with no Devin Booker, we're going to see a massive usage bump, massive uptick in his points uh, scoring right there as well, so really like the overall spot, not only matchup, but with the uptick in his usage for Chris Paul in this in this game here against Houston with no Devin Booker. So over 23 and a half points plus assists is pick number one. Pick number two, James Harden over 20 and a half points. Another pick that I really like here. He's gone over this number in four of his last five. He's averaging over 23 points per game in that time. Obviously getting a nice uptick in usage with no Tyrese Maxey, but just in general, he's been shooting the ball really well. And obviously when you're talking about what, we, what we're seeing from James Harden, especially since he's returned from the injury, his last three games have been after that injury, 21, 28, and 19 points. He's been very aggressive and he's been forced into the ball a lot. Last game, he only scored 19 points, so he did go under this number, but he also had 16 assists. So obviously that's a massive number, but it goes to show just how often the ball has been in his hands. So far this season with no Tyrese Maxey on the floor, his usage rate goes up to 34% on the year. So love the spot here for James Harden. All right, final pick, number three, Kevin Porter Jr. over four and a half rebounds. This is a low number. It's gone down significantly. You know, if you assign a player a baseline, four and a half would not be Kevin Porter's baseline rebounding number. It'd probably be five and a half. And I know Price Pick sometimes does those full numbers, so it'd probably be five. Four and a half is a tick too low on the rebounding number just because of a little bit of slumping, I guess, going on for Kevin Porter on the rebounding front. Back-to-back -back games with just three rebounds. And he's had three rebounds in three of his last five, but he's still averaging nearly six, a little over five and a half rebounds per game on the season. So he is a good rebounder, and I think that a lot of times you can find nice edges on lines by kind of finding these slumping players that have just not really been performing up to their standard, right? I think that this is exactly what the case is here for Kevin Porter with this line being decreased here down to four and a half. So those are the three picks. Just to recap, Chris Paul over 23 and a half points and assists, James Harden over 20 and a half points, and finally Kevin Porter Jr. over four and a half rebounds there. So those are my three picks. Again, let me know down below who are some of your favorite picks for tonight's Tuesday NBA slate. We got five games on the docket. Should have some pretty good NBA action as well. With no NFL going on, hope you guys have your eyes on the prize here in NBA. And we will see you guys next time. Again, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. Again, thank you for the support on these videos. We'll see you guys next time. As always, good luck, everybody.